Hey guys, it's Ross. I got a new video for you guys, a fig tasting video on a variety called Raven de Calci. Uh, I think it's an exciting new variety, one worth looking at. Um, lots of fig varieties out there and I think this is one that, I don't know, has potential and that's kind of why I'm growing it. Um, a friend of mine in California, uh, she said that it was the best fig in her collection last year and she has a pretty large collection. Um, also, uh, it's a fig that Bode grows in France, so it's a it's a Bode variety. Um, I don't know if he found it or what the story is of how he got it, but he got it. The variety itself reminds me a lot of a Black Mission type. And as we know about Black Mission, it's a berry fig, quite good. And there's a lot of Black Mission types out there, uh, a lot of them trialing. I didn't know <laughs> when I acquired this fig that it was a Black Mission type, or maybe it's not. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is going to be the first fig I'm going to get off of it. But it looks, so far, the fig on this, on this tree looks like a Black Mission. If you look down here, here's the fig. And it's got a very similar shape to a Black Mission. I imagine the inside will be red, berry flavored. It has the uh, same ribbing or the cracks in the skin as the as a Black Mission type. And I, you know, I, I like to gather, I like to group figs. And some people like to separate them by variety and say this one's different than this one. I'm more of a grouper, I'm more of a lumper. Um, and I like to lump figs together into one category so that it makes it easy for someone that's new getting into figs can kind of understand what what's going on. There's so many varieties out there and there's so many names from so many different countries it can be very easy to get overwhelmed and I like to simplify things especially you know not just for new guys but for myself. I like to simplify it for myself. Um, and I'm trialing a lot of different black mission types as I think that they're black mission type. Uh, Bavaria, Bavaria Preta, um, Italian Black, Native Black, Kathleen's Black, Maltese Falcon, uh, Black Beauty 10. There's so many of them out there, I feel like. It's weird because lots of people love the black mission types. They love them. It's like a thing that they're it's almost like South Corleone. Every time there's a new South Corleone type fig that comes out and people start tasting it and growing it and spreading it around, everybody's like, I love this fig, it's so good. But isn't it similar to what you already have? You know, isn't it similar to a fig you have? I mean, it's just, it kind of blows my mind that how we have so many figs that are very similar by different names. And I don't know. It is what it is. The leaves to me don't really look too much like a black mission type. Perhaps this leaf does. You know, and here's the tree right here for you guys to see. There's a lot of trees in the background, I guess, but it's a pretty thick trunk. Got it from cutting. Uh, had a main branch. This was the main branch and I decided to air layer it off for a friend and then some other branches came up and I been air layering those and the, you know, black mission types are not all that productive. That's the one thing I'm not a huge fan about. It seems like they take forever to get started. You know, this is a pretty large tree. You would think that this tree, this is a pretty strong tree, that this tree has more fruit on it, but it just doesn't. And I don't think that black mission types do all that well in the Northeast. They say that Maltese Falcon, they say that Kathleen's Black are adapted to the Northeast, to a cold, humid climate whereas Black Mission really isn't. Um, I don't know if I believe that. And you know, they say they put them in the, some people put them in the ground, they're kind of hardy to zone seven. Um, you know, but the tree itself takes a while, it takes a couple years really for it to start producing. And that's kind of the downside of these Black Mission types. I don't even know really at, in the end when they are mature trees, if they will be um, productive compared to other varieties that I have, like maybe a Hardy Chicago type or a Violet Dave Ardo type. You know, those are very productive trees, very productive varieties. So it's tough to say if this one's gonna be up there. All right, so I'm gonna pick this guy. It definitely looks ripe. 
beautiful fig. The cracking is very similar. The neck, you know, it's not really non-existent. The shape of this fig is very similar to a black mission. You can tell by the short stem, the kind of fat, short neck, the color of the fig, the color of the eye, the leaf structure of this tree. Let's cut it open. So there it is, guys. If some grower from California had posted a photo with the leaves, posted a photo of this fig, um, and asked, was like, you know, what is this fig? I would reply 99 times out of 100 that this is Black Mission. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's taste it. It's really good. It's definitely good. It seems, um, could have hung on the tree longer. Cracks in the skin is a definite indicator of when you should pick it. And here in my climate, I've been letting them get cracks in the skin. And I like to write, I like to let them I like to pick them well after they get cracks in the skin. But lately it's been a lot of rain here and they're actually been getting mold in the cracks of the skin on my petite all beak. So I saw the cracks in the skin and I was like, gotta pick it. But even though it could have probably it could have hung on there for another two days to achieve its maximum maximum flavor, this is still really good. It tastes similar to a Violet Day Bardot. I think Black Mission types just taste similar to a Violet Day Bardot types. This one, this one's got like a honey in it though. This one has like, most Violet Day Bardot types don't have any honey in them, they're just straight berry. And some of them get to like a dark berry where they actually have some acidity to them and they might even taste like a cherry or like a raspberry. You know, this fig has that berry, but it's also got a lot of honey in there. It's juicy, not overly watery. I bet you if I deprive this fig of more water, maybe I let it ripen a little bit longer. It was hotter out. You know, now it's September 1st. If I can get this fig to ripen August 1st, Look out, this is gonna be a really good fig. This is just a good, it's just a good fig. You know? I would put this fig on the same level as my Petite Aubique, which I rate at a, I think I rate that as an 8.5. And I would say that's an 8.5, that particular fig. But I think that if I got it to ripen longer it might even be just as good as my azores dark and smith i think it's up there so i would say it has the potential to be a nine but for now it's an 8.5 so anyway that's raven de Calci, guys i wish you could have been here to taste it it's pretty damn good um thanks for watching